So today I thought we'd step out of the NHL and jump into the NCAA to talk about Montreal Canadiens prospect Lane Hudson of the Boston University Terriers. The Terriers played the Merrimack Warriors in the Hockey East Tournament Final last night. Lane Hudson would score two goals, including the overtime winner to seal the win for the Terriers and help them capture the tournament championship. Hudson has been absolutely tearing it up in the NCAA this season, leading all defensemen in scoring, and he's also currently 7th in scoring in the entire league. The Habs drafted Hudson at 62nd overall in the 2022 NHL draft. I could not believe that he fell this far and that they ended up getting him. I thought for sure that they had missed their opportunity earlier in the second round. In my opinion, Hudson has the potential to be an elite offensive defenseman. I don't want to jump the gun and compare him to the likes of Kale McCarr quite yet, but he is a phenomenal skater and great at moving the puck. There were some major concerns regarding Hudson heading into the draft. Scouts were concerned that he was not tall or strong enough to be a threat at the NHL level. That's why he fell to the second round. Elite Prospects has him listed at 5'10", 161 pounds. I don't know if this is entirely accurate. I think he's more around the 5'8", 5'9 range, but regardless, it shouldn't matter. A lot of people were saying that if Hudson was just two inches taller and weighed a little more, he would have easily gone in the first round and maybe even in the top 10. I think teams should really stop passing on players because of size. We've now seen so many successful small players do well at the NHL level. Some examples include Alex Debrinkat, Cole Caulfield, Brad Marchand, Johnny Gaudreau, and the list goes on. I feel like if the talent is there, that player is worth taking a risk on. I'm so excited to see Hudson play for the Habs in the coming years. He still has yet to sign his entry-level contract, but hopefully he will be signed for next season. I really think this is the Habs' most exciting prospect at the moment. Yes, even more exciting than Uri Slavkovsky, and I can't wait to see how he does in the NHL. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.